<clears throat> Hello YouTube, this is Ben Gessel. How's it going? So this is kind of a late night video here, I know. Um, just um, had a few thoughts maybe. Um, today has been a little bit harder than some days in some respects. And uh, you know, I'm curious what you guys do when you're just feeling kind of down about some things. Um, I guess it just it just feels a little bit. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm not really sure how to how to put my finger on this, but. I don't know. It's just, <laughs> um, I wish I could. I wish I could tell you guys exactly how I'm feeling, but it's, it's kind of, um, maybe maybe it's just you know, something along the lines of, um. When you, um, I don't know. Some, 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 some subjects, topics of things are very, uh, can, can weigh you down a little bit. And maybe I just have dwelled on these subjects a bit more uh, than usual today. I guess one in particular I could I should mention uh, it has to do with Michael Jackson, and I might have talked about this before. I I doubt it. And if I have talked about it, I'm pretty sure I'll I'm going to say different things about it now than I did back then. So there's a lot of people that are coming forward and are saying stuff about Michael Jackson that I, I've never heard before. And what they're saying is really pretty graphic. What, what I've, I've, what I've watched today, I mean, it is, it's, it's very, it's very hard to make these things up. Uh, and you see the expression I saw the expressions of people that were saying these things and I'm like they're telling the truth this is real you know I wish I could I, I wish I was I honestly wish I was you know a big April Fool's joke I, I honestly wish it was Michael Jackson was a big deal in the 80s. He was huge. And, every, you know, I mean, this was when I was a little boy. You know, but I still remember all this stuff. And and he's been big ever since. And, you know, Randy Jackson said it. Well, he has he's a triple threat. He's a singer, he's a dancer, and he's something else. I can't remember what. <laughs> Um, he can sing, he can dance, and he can... Heck, I think he even wrote his own songs. So I think he's a bit of a composer as well. Whatever it was, you know... I mean, I don't know. It's discouraging because... It's beyond discouraging in a way. It has to do with... On some level... Okay. It's just a very nasty subject. Again, we're talking about pedophilia again. But, you know, because of what I watched, the nature of what I watched about Michael Jackson, it touches on all kinds of things that, you know, are just not... The sorts of behaviors that lead to being the best person you can be. 
you know, they, they pull someone down. Anyway. Um, it's hard to think of a more sensitive or serious subject than not only pedophilia, but very basically certain sex, sexual subjects in general. I mean, like, talking about some of the most just nobody wants to really talk about certain things. I mean, it just makes makes you squirm, kind of subjects. But you know, I don't know. I, I have to say, I'm of the opinion now that Michael Jackson was a pedophile, but. In his defense, I'm also going to say his dad abused him, and because of what his how his dad what his dad did to him, and that was one of the reasons why he did what he did. And being overworked and never having a childhood and all that stuff. And I just think that you know when you hear this stuff. It's important not to dwell on it too much, I think. That's the main thing. And just, you know, try to find artists and music that is better. You know, it's just more... um, I don't know. We just live in a really dark time to be alive. And it, it is easy to get really depressed and discouraged from time to time. I mean, there are people that love Michael Jackson far more than I do. And, you know, if they, they're watching, they hear this stuff, and it's that much more upsetting to them. And I can only imagine how they might be feeling about this stuff. For me, he was never my absolute favorite singer. But he, it, there's enough of impact of this on me, hearing this stuff that is, um, it makes you want to vomit. It made me want to, uh, I don't know, just implode or explode or whatever. It just made me want to die. Some part of me died. You know, when Michael Eisner said that uh, Michael Jackson had, you know, the spirit of Disney more, more than he did even. And seeing Captain EO and seeing Thriller and seeing all of his music videos and all his dance stuff and moonwalk and all this stuff and and then all that, that it's like all that, that that part of me that really liked this stuff or thought it was really fun is kind of dead now considering Michael Jackson did but maybe it's not completely extinguished you know there's still some part of all that that I think you know, I don't know what to think. I just know that I really don't want to think about Michael Jackson for quite some time. I don't want to. I don't want to hear about him. I don't want to talk about him with other people if I could avoid it. But I don't want to be confrontational. I don't want to be argumentative about it. it just it's just troubling enough. That I'd rather not talk about it. But you know, we just it's just. Evil is real, and evil could exist in someone, I mean, (sighs) heinous evil can exist in a person, you know, that is often seen as a very good person, and this is particularly the case with a lot of um, very deviant sexual behaviors, I think. Um, anyway, so if that was my you know main thing. I try not to think about this too much, but but also, what what do you guys do to pull yourself away from discouraging thoughts? Just leave me your thoughts and comments below. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.